Hi everyone and welcome to Lean Finance. My name is Sven and this channel is about finance, investing and money. The goal is to share knowledge and my experience with you and to show you that personal finances don't need to be complicated. In this video, I will give you some background on the stock market, explaining why it is essential for a successful investment nowadays. So let's go with this next video. Simply speaking, the stock exchange is a marketplace where financial products like bonds, stocks or even currencies are traded. Sellers and buyers meet virtually at the stock market to exchange their products with each other. So if you want to sell or buy a share of a company, you would usually do that through a stock exchange. In addition, the stock exchange continuously forms prices for different financial products based on the principle of supply and demand. There are different stock exchanges in the world like the New York Stock Exchange in the US or the Frankfurt Stock Exchange in Germany. In my first video, I already listed the lower negative interest rates as one reason why you should learn about personal finances. Leaving your savings at the bank on a savings account generates no interest with current rates of 0.01% and lower. In addition to the interest rate, you must also consider the, the constant increase in prices in the form of inflation. A saving of 1000 euro today will be significantly less valuable in some years because you cannot afford the same amount of products or services with this money. Inflation is usually around 2% per year, meaning that the return on your savings must be at least 2% per year to compensate for the increase in prices. When looking at your returns, you should always deduct the inflation rate or at least be aware of its existence. When it is impossible to create a positive return after inflation with your savings at the bank, you should consider other options to invest your money, like for example real estate or the stock market. Focusing on the stock markets, the markets have increased continuously over the long term in the past. The MSCI World Index, for example, representing around 1,600 companies in 23 countries worldwide, had an average return of 7.9% per year for any investment period of 15 years in the past. Historically, a long-term investment always achieved positive returns at the stock market. Stocks, or also called shares, are issued by publicly listed companies. If you own a company share, you own a part of that company. If the value of the specific company increases, the value of your share increases accordingly. This is also true for decreases in values. Or in the worst case, if the company goes bankrupt, your share becomes completely worthless. With the company Wirecard, we had a well-known example of bankruptcy in 2020 here in Germany, leading to plenty of losses at the stock market. Nobody is able to predict how shares of individual companies will develop in the future. The best someone can do is guessing. Does that mean that you can lose all your savings at the stock market? When you invest in individual companies like Wirecard, it can definitely happen. But luckily, this company-specific risk can be eliminated with diversification. Diversification means that I do not put all my eggs in one basket when investing my money. I rather spread my investments across different companies, industries and countries. If you invest in one single company, your return on investment is completely dependent on this one company. This is extremely risky. If instead you invest in 30 companies, even if one or two of these companies are performing badly, the remaining companies can still be in a good shape. Your investments in total are then probably still performing well, because you distributed your risk by different companies. Now imagine you invest in 1600 companies of different industries worldwide. You completely eliminate the risk of one company one industry or even one country performing badly because it can be compensated by all the other shares in the portfolio. However, this one risk you can never completely eliminate, the so-called market risk. Let's take a closer look at the development of the global stock market using the MSCI World Index. Following the development of the MSCI World Index, we can see that the stock markets never developed in a linear fashion. Instead, the stock markets can be quite volatile, influenced by various events, trends or crises. Short-term crashes of 20% and more already happened, for example the Corona crash in 2020 or the financial crisis around the year 2008. 
However, these losses were always completely compensated and even overcompensated over time. This is why you should always invest with a long-term perspective at the stock market and never with money you need in the short or medium term. Like stated before, by investing in the stock market for 15 or more years, there was never a negative return in the past. I hope this video helped you to understand why the stock market should not be ignored. In the long term, it is one of the few investments which can bring you a positive return on your saving with manageable risks. Feel free to subscribe to stay on board for the next video. I am looking forward to getting your feedback in the comments below and preparing the next video for you. See you soon and have a great day.